It's time for another Dice Tower review from Gamer's Remorse. Hello and welcome back to Gamer's Remorse. Today we are taking a look at the game The Downfall of Pompeii, a Mayfair classic. Modern classic. Modern. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Too soon. The Downfall of Pompeii is a game by Mayfair Games for two to four players and takes about 45 minutes to play. The Downfall of Pompeii utilizes tile, drafting and placement, hand management, and grid movement mechanic. Players take on the role of the citizens of Pompeii on that fateful day when Mount Vesuvius erupted to the dismay of all. Players start out in the first phase of gameplay by utilizing their cards dealt to them to settle Pompeii. These cards indicate what settlement a player can place a person, represented by a token. Players earn bonuses and can place more tokens if they settle a house, courtyard, or palace that already has a person in the building. Each turn a player plays a card, places a person token, and then draws another card. When the second volcano card is drawn, then phase one ends and players are no longer able to populate the city with their families. The volcano begins to erupt and phase two begins. All players place two tiles on the board to begin. They must place them based upon the icon on the tile randomly drawn. A player can place the tile on an any adjacent square to an existing tiles with the same icon. When a tile is placed on a location with player tokens on it, the tokens are added to the volcano. Then phase three begins. Players take their turns by drawing and placing a tile as before and then performing two movement actions. The objective is to get the most of your family members out of the city gates by the time all lava tiles have been drawn from the bag. May the luckiest Roman win. Seven to start out. And then I draw a card. Mm -hmm. Your turn. I'm gonna play a one. Okay. Okay. What's right, going to ten? play? Bad boys. Ten bad spot. Boys. So you played a one. Yep. I'm also gonna play a ten. Oh. So I go there, mm -hmm. but then I also go anywhere Familia. I want, right? Uh, within the same color. Or beige. Or beige. Yeah. I'll play a one. So oh, man. Here. Then do I also get to go? Yeah. I'm just gonna go here. Kind of like this game already. Oh, oh you baited me into oh, it. Somehow he, I knew that was gonna happen. made you do that. Yeah, that was, it was clever. There. And then, same color. Yep. Did you draw? No, I did not, thank Wait, you. Wait, should I have five cards? You should have four. No, you should okay. only have four. <laughs> I go over here to four. Yes. Six. Now we're seeing on the steps. Two. Oh. Oh. Wow. So what happens now? That's a warning. That's the warning. The warning. I feel like it's really early. So four. So I'm gonna go here, and I already have. Jerk! <laughs> I had a four. Oh, all of these go away. They're pretty much these do not go in the volcano. No. Cards go away. You're trying to move to the gates or through the gates. Through, through the, the gate. gate counts as one. So the player, or it's the symbol. That's where the starting tile happened. Yeah. I'm gonna put this over here because it's. It. Thank you. <laughs> so Brian, way up there. Oh, that's not good for me. So... Use an adjacent square. Oh. Yes. Does that guy go to the volcano? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> or no one. And so this will be the last one? Yes. Yeah. Now Sean starts by drawing, placing... Okay, so you draw, move, and draw, And then move. you move. Jerk. So far Sean's j just been a jerk. 
<laughs> okay, so then I get to choose one guy to move out, right? You have to move two. Oh, two. Uh, there are certain exceptions for okay, moving one. So, one, two, right? Do you, yes, move, do you move them all two spaces? It's No, it's however it? many you start however, off with in yeah. your spot. So oh, there was okay. two guys here. Yep. Counting himself. Yep. So two. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. now this guy would only be able to move one. Move one. Mm -hmm. Yes. This guy, however, can move three because there's three of us. So, well, this guy can move two. So, what am I more worried about? These guys. This guy's hard. Yeah. I need to get out of town with those guys. So, one, two, three. In fact, I probably. So now you put four. those people in front of you. Yay, people. This is where I'm going to start getting destroyed. Or destroying, which is right there. I, I have to go up here. Yeah, because you don't want to get yourself. All right, so I move three. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, or one, two, three. Oh. But I could start by moving one, two, right? Yes. So here's here, so one, two, mm -hmm. and then one, two, three. Nice. Well played, old bean. Are you all being? Yeah. Helm. I mean, he was dead anyway. Let's be honest. He could move one spot and it was occupied. Yep. <laughs> so. One, two. Mm hmm. And. One, two, three. Nice. Oh, there are no. Uh, and once one, again, it's all because of Sean. Two. <laughs> no, actually, we're gonna go one, one, two, right? Yep. And then one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So really, you utilize your first dude moving to help your second dude. Exactly. So one, two, one, two, three. Getting dangerous. Block that gate. One, two, three, two. I'm rooting for the underdog. <laughs> As well, you should. This thing. It's coming for me. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to myself. So, one, two. Yep. <sighs> one, two. What? No. One, two. Oh, and I didn't draw one. True. Ooh, if you draw a coin. Change everything. One to see All right, that. so I need to draw a coin or a blue. And he also needs to draw a coin or a blue. And you gotta scroll. <laughs> coin. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy back in there. What are you talking about? Coin. No. <laughs> <laughs> draw again. I don't think there's any coin left. Check. Nope. nope. Oh. Is there, there any blue no left? Pillar. Is there any Pillar, masks? mask, and a oh, so I should have scroll. taken that. I cheated. 11. I had eight. Wow, I have a lot of dead stuff. Now it's time we're going to review the downfall of Pompeii here on Gamers Remorse. So this is a game that I think just about everyone has either heard about or played. It's it's a little bit of a modern classic, you know. It's one of the Mayfair games that you always hear about. You know people that have played it. You've probably played it. Um, so we decided to review something older uh, in the arsenal here. Overall, I really liked it. It's got kind of a Euro type aspect to it, but I mean, it's got minimalized pieces. It's definitely not Ameritrash, you know? It's more Roman. <laughs> anyway, you know, the people in Pompeii are rolling over in their graves, right? Too soon? <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. All right, sorry about that. Anyway. Uh, this is a game that we've wanted to play here for a while, and uh, we are finally able to play it here today. And overall, I think we really enjoyed it, as we should. I mean, this is just one of those modern classics. So, 
Without further ado, uh, let's go into my rubric. Quality components, zero to two. I gave it a 1.5. Originally, I started out a little higher, and then I realized, well, I mean, it's it's minimalistic because it doesn't need a whole lot to it. Yeah, there's some fun terrain and what have you, but I mean, it's really just basic little square chits. You have these little blocks. They could have been meeples, you know. Maybe some bonus points for this cool little volcano thing. You know, that's not something you see in every game, but it fulfilled its purpose. I don't think it detracted anywhere in the game for me. A good balance of skill to luck, zero to one. I gave it a one on that. That's a full score. Uh, uh, there was a lot of strategy for me in where I placed my people. I tried to group them up in heavily populated areas. And then later on when the game turned to everyone's trying to get out of the city, I utilized those heavy populated areas to try and get out as, quick, as quickly as I could, maneuvering pieces into specific locations to leverage those spots. So there was a lot of skill in my mind there, but there was enough luck in what cards you had so where you could place them that it made it fun, even for someone that is a master strategist, right? So a min-maxer of sorts could, could play this against a younger kid and still get enjoyment and replay value out of it. Uh, downtime, zero to one. I gave it 0.75. There wasn't a whole lot of room for downtime. Towards the end, when you're starting to move people out of the village, it seems like that could have opened it up for a little bit of analysis paralysis. But since you only get two moves, it seemed very limited and that was perfect. Theme, zero to two, I gave it 1.5. I love the theme, you know. The, the mountain, the mountain. The volcano in Pompeii is getting ready to explode. Get out, you know, like that. I can't think of a much more thrilling topic to think about. Real competitive, zero to two, I gave it 1.5. Uh, I found it very thrilling and very competitive. Towards the end, um, trying to get out of there, you're placing these tiles that are just killing off your opponent's players. Uh, added a whole nother level of thrill to this. That was very exciting to see. And then was it fun, one to two? I gave it a two, I had a lot of fun with this. I would absolutely bring this to a game night. And it's simple enough that you could teach it in probably five to 10 minutes. Um, but you could probably get enough replay value out of it by playing it several times throughout the night. So overall, I gave it an eight. I really, really like this game. Brian, what'd you think? Uh, like Sean said, this is a game that most people are familiar with. So I'm just gonna jump right into my rubric because I don't have to tell you more about the history of it. As far as visuals, I gave it 1.75 out of two. Uh, I really liked the layout of the city. You kind of get some of the arena, you get various other aspects that you would have had in Roman culture, which I found enjoyable. And beyond that, you knew what you were looking at. There's never a, oh, what number is this? Or can I go here? It's fairly clear uh, what you're looking at, which I found fascinating. I really liked the way that eased play. The visuals were very beneficial with the icons and everything on the uh, skill and luck. Between zero and one, I give that a 0.75. Uh, it's very well balanced. Uh, Except at the very end where you're drawing the volcano tiles. I feel there is a lot of luck in what could be drawn mm. um, But there is the skill of course in where you play them But I would have liked to see a little less luck in that. I'm not exactly sure how that could have been managed um, But I mean I have no control over what I draw and then there can be times where there's only a few places to put that and So that was moderately off-putting But that fed the theme which we will get to soon uh, then pacing, I gave that one and a half out of two. Uh, it was paced very well, although there is a lot of room for analysis paralysis. There are certain players I would not want to play this game with because they would analyze all the cards in their hand, all the various places. If they got to play relatives, they would then analyze where to place the relatives. When escaping Pompeii, they would probably analyze every single person they have on the board, trying <laughs> to decide what the optimal plan would be for vacating as well as when they draw the tile, what is every optimal place they could place that tile. <laughs> um, we all have that friend. Um, this is just a game I would not invite that friend to play. Theme and immersion, zero to two. The theme started out where I was just like, okay, so I'm putting people on a thing, whatever. Uh, but once the volcano erupts, you know, you start out, okay, yeah, random tiles, but as the board fills up, you feel that urge and that panic of, I gotta get these people out of here <laughs> before they're destroyed by lava. And by the end of the game, you're really feeling that theme and you're really immersed in it, which was fantastic. Um, and then the mechanics, zero to one. I enjoyed the mechanics, I gave it 0.5. Um, but there, there was a random tile. I've, random tile drawing has always been something, Carcassonne does it as well, where I'm just kind of like, I wish I had more control. And I guess that's just, something that you have to live with when your friends love tile drawing games. 
Um, but the way they handled this, I thought was fairly entertaining. I liked the way that it does it. it builds that panic, it builds that urgency as the game continues. And then it was a fun zero to two. I give that one and a half. Uh, again, I didn't feel into it until about a third of the way into the game. That first third, I was just kind of like, yeah, I'm just putting people down. Um, so it kind of took a while for it to build me in, but once I was in, I was hooked. Um, so by the end, you're like, yeah, I want to play again. And I think the more you play it, the quicker you get immersed into it. So the second time you play, you're even into it quicker. The third time, you're even more into it. And the fourth time, you're more into it. And the fifth time, you're like, why are we playing this five times in a row? I don't know. But I gave it a seven and a half, so clearly it's a good game. Uh, Eric, what are your thoughts? Uh, the appeal for me, I mean, it was there. Uh, I, I knew about the game. I've been wanting to play it for a while uh, and finally got my chance. Um, the... Yeah, like I said, the, uh, or like they said, the uh, the components uh, are, are are well done. Uh, they could have done other things uh, to maybe make it a little more realistic, I guess, but they didn't have to. Um, uh, so yeah, I give the appeal uh, a four. Um, uh, the uh, theme, uh, I mean, it was there. Uh, I mean, like it, it felt like. What, you're, you know, you're, you're populating the city, so it's like a new city. You're, you're bringing your family. And it's like, hey, all right, this is. Let, let's start pocket like let, let's invade this area of the the city all right this is where we'll, we'll settle so I mean it, I mean the theme was definitely there um, replayability for me is it was a uh, I gave it a four it's something I definitely play again um, very I, I feel like rarely is when I'll say no to playing this so uh, overall it's neat we gave it a 7.8 collectively so it's a great game uh, if you haven't played it, you should definitely check it out at your next con or just at your local game store. So, all right. Be safe. Watch out for those volcanoes. Always wear a volcano-proof hat. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you guys, have, you you don't have one? Is in your witty comebacks at the same time. <laughs> well, I stopped because I realized he was talking. Yeah. And was what like, was yours? I said wear a volcano-proof hat. Okay, and yours was? Even if they are made of uh, baking soda and vinegar. There you are. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.